Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and for taking the time to attend today's webinar, Buenos Aires New Outdoor Tours. Um, my name is Anna Kamerar. I work for Emerging Destinations. Um, we are a marketing representation company in US and Canada. And today I will be your co-host. And in a few more seconds, I will be introducing you to Gisela Carbone, sales manager at Recoleta Grand Hotels in Argentina. Um, but before we start um, our virtual trip to Buenos, uh, through Buenos Aires, I would like to give you um, a quick overview about the different companies and places that we have in our portfolio. Let me move to next slide. Okay, here we go. So in Africa, we are proud of representing um, the Eleguana Collection, Sky Safari, Kelly and Peacock Safari, and Sopalogis, all of those doing Kenya and Tanzania. Then we have the Royal Livingstone, uh, Victoria Falls by Anantara in Zambia, and um, Anantara Basaruto Island Resort and Medjumbe Island Resort both properties from the Anantara brand in the idyllic beaches of Mozambique. We also represent um, Adventure Consult doing Rwanda and Uganda, Eco Training offering wild courses in South Africa. Um, moving to the Americas region, we represent Grand Hotel Lux, our co-host today featuring four beautiful hotels in Argentina and in Uruguay. We also represent Las Torres Patagonia, formerly known as Fantastico Sur and Hotel Las Torres in the amazing Torres del Paine National Park in Chile. Enchanted Expeditions, a GMT beautiful lodge in Santa Cruz Island and two um, boat cruises sailing through the Galapagos Island in Ecuador. Travel Pioneers doing Costa Rica, and Canyon Madness Ranch in Northeast New Mexico. And finally, we represent, our portfolio is completed with our clients in Europe. We represent Iceland for Cruises, Iceland for Travel, and Hotel Island in Reykjavik, all those three companies in Iceland, and Paxmore in Greece. So in case you have any questions or need a private webinar uh, from any of those clients that we represent in the portfolio, please feel free to reach out to me after this webinar. You can see my email address at the bottom of your screen now. A, a few housekeeping notes before we start with the webinar. All attendees uh, are mute. Uh, but you can type any question or doubt you have about Recoleta Grant and Buenos Aires on the control panel on your right. We will be answering those questions at the end of the presentation. We are also recording this presentation. We will be sending you a follow-up email in the upcoming days, including this recording, as well as the Q&A and any other digital material like fact sheets, digital brochures, etc. from Recoleta Grana. We will be also uh, upload this recording on our website, emergingdestinations.com, and on our YouTube channel, uh, Emerging Destinations. So if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, we invite you to, to do so. You will be able to find all the webinars that we are conducting with our clients in the portfolio uploaded in this channel. They are sort of segmented or separated by region. So this is also a great opportunity to listen or, or watch the webinars again. So I think that we are ready to introduce our guest today. Gisela Carbone is sales manager at the Recoleta Grand Hotel, a beautiful, gorgeous property located in the Recoleta neighborhood in Buenos Aires. So let me make her a presenter. Um, over to you, Gisela. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Grand Hotel Slacks. Well, first of all, 
thank you for being here. My name is Gisela and I look after marketing and sales for Recoleta Grand Hotel in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And by the end of this presentation, you will know more about our hotels. We welcome you to know more, more about unique locations and character of Grand Hotel Lats. The Collection Grand has four hotels in two countries, Argentina and Uruguay. City, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Recoleta Grand Hotel has a great location near the top attractions of the city and main streets of Buenos Aires. Jungle, Puerto Iguazú, Argentina. Iguazú Grand Resort and Panoramic Grand are located in Puerto Iguazú, in the northeast part of the country, approximately two hours flight away from Buenos Aires. And the beach, Punta del Este, Uruguay. Recognized as one of the most important resort destinations in Latin America, Punta del Este is located an hour and a half from Montevideo, the capital city of Uruguay. Remember that South America is in the opposite season of the US and Canada. This means that here in Argentina and Uruguay, winter is from June to September, and summer is from December to March. However, in Puerto Iguazú City and in the Iguazú Falls, the climate is the typical one for the jungle, humid and hot. Grand has been created with the conviction that contemporary tourists seek the authentic. Each hotel is intrinsically immersed in its surroundings, offering a surprising new environment and at the same time inspired by luxurious comforts. What all hotels have in common is warmth, hospitality and dedication to personalized service. Okay. Today's topic is new outdoor tours. We will travel to the capital city of Argentina, Buenos Aires. Each neighborhood from Buenos Aires city has their own mystic, traditions, iconic celebrities and emblematic places. Thanks to this, you will be able to live unique and memorable experiences. We encourage you to enjoy every corner that Buenos Aires City hides. There is no need to go long distances or spend much money. You just need to get out there and be willing to go sightseeing and enjoy the outdoors of Buenos Aires. We recommend you scan every QR code on each slide of the presentation and we will show you the way to go from Recoleta Grand Hotel to each place. So let's start. France Square. Pleasant green space in Recoleta, designed by the landscaper Charles Tice. Remember that you can scan the QR code on each slide. The Pleasant Green space is the perfect place to stop for a rest while sightseeing. It's named after its central monument from France to Argentina, which was donated by the city's French community to commemorate the centennial of Argentina's May Revolution in 1910. Craft Fair Plaza Francia, actually held in nearby Plaza Intendente Alvear, which is often mistakenly named Plaza Francia. This weekend craft fair is run by artisans who sell original made crafts. We recommend you go walking from the hotel to this beautiful place. Recoleta Cemetery. Lose yourself for hours in this labyrinth city of the dead. Over 6,400 statues, sarcophagi, 
coffins and crypts commemorate some of Argentinians most celebrated sons and daughters in this labyrinth city of the dead. Recoleta Cemetery in the neighborhood of the same name was once the orchard of the adjoining basilica Nuestra Señora del Pilar, the brilliant white church that overlooks the square outside. Figueroa Alcorta Avenue. The Figueroa Alcorta Avenue was designed by the French landscape artist Charles Dice and amazed those who walked through its colorful trees. One of the most beautiful moments is in November when the famous tree Jacaranda flowers turned the avenue into a true visual show. We also recommend you go walking through the hotel to this beautiful place. Thais Park. To achieve happiness, it's better to live in a cabin, in a forest, than in a palace without a garden, Thais said. When Charles Thais moved to Argentina in 1980, he planned to make a temporary visit. But as often happens, he fell in love with the country and decided to spend the rest of his life here. This 4,500 square meters park is named in honor of the French landscaper responsible for many of the city's parks. It opened in 1990. The park is known for its many significant works of sculpture, including Marta Minujín's United Nations statue and Colombian artist Fernando Botero's male torso. Floralis generica. Marvel at this moving sculpture that's become an emblem of the city. Named Floralis Generica in tribute to all flowers, this 20 meter high, 18 ton aluminum and stainless steel sculpture dominate the United Nations Square. Inaugurated in 2002, it was probably the world's first mobile public sculpture to be controlled by hydraulics and photoelectric sensors. It was donated to the city of Buenos Aires by its creator, the Argentine architect Eduardo Catalano, who in this piece realized his dream of creating a sculpture that would reflect the dynamism of time. Catalano once said the sculpture was a synthesis of all the flowers and a hope that is reborn every day. The six steel petals open at 8 a.m. each morning and close at midnight. The petals also close in high winds in order to protect the sculpture, while on patriotic holidays, they remain open all day. Galileo Galilei Planetarium. See the stars at this popular attraction. The 1960 built planetarium resembling a UFO is located in 3 de Febrero Park in Palermo. It has a main projection room with a 20 meter dam and reclinable seats for viewing projections of the stars and planets. Smaller room for exhibitions also. And it has a museum and a collection of meteorites from the north of Argentina. Discover the wonders of the universe at the Planetarium's modern museum with its interactive screens, library, 4D simulators, and virtual reality games. Outside in the gardens, the Plaza Astronomica presents an unconventional representation of the Earth with real meteorites. A sundial 
and another attractions that offer a different view of our place in space. And of course, the venue also offers cutting edge screenings on the ceiling of its magnificent dam. The huge park, 3 de Febrero, often known as Los Bosques de Palermo, Palermo Forests, is one of the city's most popular open spaces. It's the perfect place to relax and unwind, walk, run, cycle, roll skate, or have a picnic with friends. Palermo Rose Garden. It is located within Trece Febrero Park in Palermo, one of the most popular parks in the city. This pretty garden boasts a collection of more than 18,000 roses surrounded by a lake and acres of parkland. The Rose Garden, Rosedal in Spanish, is more than a century old and has received the International Garden Excellence Award from the World Federation of Rose Societies. As well as its roses, it features a lake with a Greek influence bridge, an amphitheater, an Andalusian patio, and a poet's garden with 20 boasts of famous writers, including Dante Alighieri. William Shakespeare and Jorge Luis Borges. Now we are going to Japanese Garden. The Japanese Garden is one of the most relaxing places in Buenos Aires. Located beside Tres de Febrero Park, the site was inaugurated in 1967. Various elements of these gardens were designed to create balance and harmony. There is a wide variety of plants and a pond with carpas, a kind of fish, an island with bridges and sculptures based on Japanese culture. Chinatown. Located in Belgrano, the neighborhood has become a popular attraction because of its shops and restaurants. The Barrio Chino, or Chinatown, is a section of Belgrano neighborhood with a clear East Asian identity arising from a boon in immigration from China, Japan and Thailand in 1980s. These immigrant families open numerous restaurants and supermarkets, as well as one of the city's first Buddhist temple, the Chongguang Temple, which was inaugurated in 1988. And remember this, Chinese New Year is a major event in the neighborhood, taking place at the end of January or start of February. And now we are going to visit the obelisk. El Obelisco is one of the city's most iconic landmarks built to commemorate the fourth centenary, centenary of the first Fair Foundation. The obelisk has become a symbolic icon of the city, marking a strategic central point. Inside the structure, there is a ladder with 200 steps and seven resting places leading up to the viewing platform, which has windows on each of the four sides, close to the public, of course. Okay, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, I would like to give you a brief overview of our hotel. Recoleta Grand Hotel is located in the heart of Buenos Aires' exclusive Recoleta neighborhood. We are just 20 minutes from the Jorge Newbery Domestic Airport. This airport also receives flights 
from some South America's countries like Brazil or Uruguay. And we are 50 minutes from the Seiza International Airport. Argentina is located in South America and its capital city is Buenos Aires. It has great connections with the major international airlines, American Airlines, Delta, United, and Air Canada. Daily flights connect the most important city of the US and Canada with Buenos Aires. Recoleta Grand Hotel is the best option for your leisure or business trips. Full of urban energy, boasting its own style, elegance and culture. With modern rooms, we include comfortable studios and suites. About Buenos Aires gastronomy, we can say that it's the crossroads of immigrants that have identity to the city, mainly from Spanish and Italian cuisine, with some French, African and German. All of them define what we locally call bodegón. It is a traditional porteña food or places with plentiful dishes, which transmit emotions and warmth that makes people feel like home. Under this concept, Club 31, Bar and Resto, is the gastronomic point of Recoleta Grand Hotel. Became an ideal meeting place for family, friends, and of course, our guests. Spa and fitness center. Parking area, which in a big city, it's very important. A rooftop bar at summertime. Seven offices located all at the first floor, offering a great place for work, online and offline events. Recoleta Gran is more than a hotel. Recoleta Gran is a portal that connects you to the historical, bohemian and charming yesteryears Buenos Aires, with the comfort, the service and the taste of the present. And this brings me to the my end of the presentation. So thank you everybody, and thank you Anna for for this for the time you you, you gave us. Oops. There we go. Thank you so much, Cicela, for your presentation and for your time today. Um, let's answer some of the questions that we are getting on the control panel to all of our attendees. Remember that you can type your questions uh, on the control panel on your right, uh, as we will be answering them now. So the first question I have here in the control panel is how many days would you recommend to stay in Buenos Aires to enjoy, enjoy all those sites? Well, um, of course, it always depends on your interest and on your budget and on the time that you have. Um, I would say that the minimum stay I would recommend to stay in Buenos Aires is at least four days, uh, three nights. Uh, because the, as Gisela showed you on this presentation, there are a lot of places to, to see, to visit, a lot of things to do during the day as well as uh, at night. Uh, I think that with four days, three nights minimum, you will be able to just uh, have a, a quick overview of the city and enjoy different types of activities and uh, places. Remember that Buenos Aires has a total of 48 neighborhoods. Um, Cicela has presented today the main attractions that um, are located close or next to the hotel either walking distance or uh, at a very short uh, distance by taxi or bus. But of course, there are more uh, things that you can do in San Telmo neighborhood where the flea market takes place uh, during the weekends. You can visit La Boca where the Caminito Pedestrian Street is located. You can visit downtown where the pink house 
and the cathedral are located. So there are a lot of things that you can visit and do in Buenos Aires. Um, so as long as you want to stay here, if you want to spend 10 days, it's okay. Uh, we can fill all those 10 days with interesting activities for you. So the second question that I have here is, uh, does Recoleta Grand Hotel offer or arrange tours or transportation from the hotel? Yes, the concierge at the hotel can arrange anything for you or your clients either during their stay or when you are working on the booking before your clients arrive to the hotel. Uh, our sales department and our concierge can help you from a, 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 an airport transfer uh, from the airport to the hotel to private tours, um, bookings at a uh, specific restaurant, whatever you need. Uh, Recoleta Grant can arrange and can uh, help you. Not a problem at all. Then um, we have another question. What time of the year can you view the roses in the rose garden in Palermo? Well, uh, I would say, and um, please, Gisela, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. I would say in spring which is around September, starting in September until the end of the summer, around February, March. Is that correct, Gisela? Yes, yes, it's correct. At springtime, okay. it's the best place to visit the Rosedal. Great, great, thank you. So we have another question. Uh, it's not related to Recoleta Grand Hotel in Buenos Aires, but it is related to one of our sister properties within the Grand Hotel Lux uh, brand. Does the panoramic grant in Iwasu have views of the falls from the room? Uh, no. Please um, bear in mind that regarding uh, the two properties that Grand Hotel Lux have in the Iwasu Falls, which are the Panoramic Grand and the Iwasu Grand Hotel. Those properties are located in Puerto Iwasu City. They are amazing. The Panoramic Grand is located in what we call the Punto Tripartito or the Triple Frontier, just in the sort of in the corner or in the middle of the front of the border between Argentina, um, Brazil, and Paraguay. Paraguay. Oh, Paraguay, thank you. So you have amazing views over the river, but you are not facing the falls. Um, but it's a great property, and I think it's a better location to be in the city with a great overview, with a great view over the, the triple frontier and the river. And then, because you are at walking distance to a lot of uh, nice spots in the city, and then you can take a tour to the falls. Um, in case you are staying in a property in front of the falls, okay, you will have the view, but then you will be sort of a bit isolated from the hot spots in the city, like malls, like restaurants, like shops. So you will have the view, but you will not be close to other attractions that you will enjoy during your stay. Um, then the second question, the, the following question that we have is uh, regarding the bedding that we have at the Recoleta Grand Hotel. We do have king size bed, queen size bed, and we also have rooms with two twin beds and connecting rooms for families. Uh, and of course, we also have um, handicap rooms. And the following question that we have um, and please help me, Gisela, to remember that. Which is our child policy at the Recoleta Grand Hotel? Are we offering, I think that we can add an extra bed for kids under 12 years old sharing the same room. Is that correct? It's that correct on suites only. Okay, on suites, not on the standard category. No, only in suites. Okay, perfect. So we can offer you to either book two standard rooms, and the kids will remain in a in a in a net in a room next to their parents' room, or if they want to be all together, you can book a suite and have a, a kid sharing the suite with the parents. 
Okay, so let me see if we have, well, the last questions that we are getting on the control panel. Unfortunately, it's the typical question that we have been getting for the last, I say, I would say, uh, 12 months. And what's going on with the borders? And do we have any news regarding the Argentinian government? Unfortunately, the borders uh, for international tourism in Argentina are still closed. However, um, as the cases, as the positive cases are reducing, are, are being reduced in Argentina, at the same time, we are moving forward with the vaccination process. We are expecting the government to ease restrictions and finally announce the reopening of the borders anytime soon. We don't know exactly the date, but Personally, I think that they will be easing restrictions for the high season around end of September, early October. We don't have any announcement, any formal announcement yet, but of course, as soon as we uh, get news regarding that, we will be sharing those with you and we will make sure to include those news in our website and in our newsletter. Um, so we are expecting the borders to be uh, reopened for this uh, upcoming season. So we don't have any other question on the control panel. In case you have any other doubts, please feel free to send me an email with your doubts, with your questions. Remember, my email address is Anna with only one N at emergingdestinations.com. And as I mentioned on the introduction, before we start with this webinar, we are processing this recording. We will be sending you um, a follow-up email in the upcoming days, and we will be included. We will be including in this follow-up email the recording, the Q and A, this presentation that Chisela shared with us, because you will be able to scan the QR codes on the different. Uh, attractions and you will be able to see the maps and, and compare the distance with the hotel and we will be included also a uh, fact sheet and digital material so please expect our follow-up email in the upcoming days uh, most probably if not tomorrow Friday the latest and also remember that we will be uploading the content, the recording on our website and on our YouTube channel, Emerging Destinations. So once again, thank you so, so much for being today with us, for taking the time to attend today's webinar, Buenos Aires New Outdoor Tours. Um, anything you need, please feel free to reach out to Gisela or myself. And we look forward to receiving you and your clients in Argentina and at the Recoleta Grand Hotel very, very soon. Have a good afternoon.